Hey, hi there, Leo. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading for money in October of 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Leo, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Ten of Pentacles, Leo. It seems as though you've got your mind on your family and your security, your home. This could be someone's Mercury in Virgo. This has to do with your legacy and ancestors. It's a solid and secure life. It could be a monetary gain, increased stability, house or a dwelling, represents security and material comfort, the wealth and social standing, it has to do with permanence and physical security. It's conventional thinking, it's completion and stability. This is a card of traditions, could be a holiday celebration. And if you have a question as to how things should be done, think back to the way your elders would have solved a problem. It could be someone that's wise beyond their years. This is long-term stability, could have to do with passive income and investments, symbolizing financial stability and firm foundations for home and family life. This is family that is supportive and stability from money. This is, could be an inheritance or a settlement, someone being secure, it's traditional, there's, could be a pension. This is someone that's grateful and they're gratified and they can share wealth and abundance with those they love. It has to do with their history and ancestry, a deeply rooted connection, a completion, a completion and an accomplishment. Second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number 19 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Sun. This is your ruling celestial body, Leo. This could be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is clarity and optimism. It's fulfillment. It can represent attainment, liberation. It's happiness and success for the future with esteem and honor and success. It's material happiness and success and attainment. This can be a good marriage and even happy reunions. It's pleasures in the simple life and letting your light shine. It's a sense of rebirth. There'll be a re resolution of opposing forces. These are fresh opportunities and fears and mysteries vanish. Everything becomes simple with this card, sometimes too simple. And now a cycle can begin anew and good things can come into your life. This is achievement. It brightens any negative cards in a spread. It's new beginnings, and nothing can hold you back except yourself. It's like all systems go. This card reveals everything, and you'll benefit by sharing your true feelings. There's vitality and confidence, achievement and ego attainment, and success in all your endeavors. Your past work is now bearing fruit, and the outcome is a happy one. The Ten of Pentacles with the Sun card, this is happy and content family life with many blessings and a desire will come to fruition. And the answer is yes. Your third card, this is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. The Seven of Cups, Leo, water energy. This is a card of choices, fantasy, and illusion. It's someone's Venus and Scorpio. These are high hopes. It's warns not to give in to temptation, a seduction or addiction. This is not everything may be based in reality. It could be your imagination is working overtime or you have a lot of wishful thinking. It might be daydreaming. This is the gambler card, so only do what is 100% secure. 
There may be people around you that are not totally truthful, so let your feelings guide you. Think before jumping in. Someone could be brainstorming, there could be drug use or altered states, mind-altering chemicals. Dreaming and visualization, it's good to dream and experiment, but make sure your fantasies are not blocking you from development. A choice has to be made, and much care and consideration needs, needs to be devoted to it. One of the cups needs to be chosen and worked with. Otherwise, dreams and ideas just remain castles in the air and the clouds. Fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Five of Wands, Leo. Fire energy. This is your element. This is a card of struggle. It's shifting vibrations. There's uncertainty, feeling some unrest. This is someone Saturn and Leo. All fives are pivotal turning points. This can be a competition in social or career areas. New factors that come in, they demand you to change and adapt and grow. You may need to put in a little more effort to keep what you've already gained. This can be mediation, that challenge and the struggle. It's petty obstacles and annoyances and short-term difficulties in communication. And once that's overcome, it can change things for the better. But for the short term, it's like gremlins, competing forces without a clear winner as yet. People may be fighting. There are problems to solve and maybe some conflicts, maybe petty hassles, arguments, clashing of personalities. This can also represent a friendly competition, such as games and context, contests. There may be differences of opinion. In these differences, they should be examined. It is from them that new ideas and interesting compromises emerge. But be wary of stubbornly holding on to an idea just for the sake of it. This is being agitated and competitive, contentious, combative, confused. You might need to agree to disagree. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The nine of swords, Leo. Air energy. This is a card of worry. It's waking up at night and not being able to get back to sleep because of all the thoughts racing through your mind. You might have some low anxiety, um, you might have low energy and anxiety, and there's a need to be patient. This is someone's tower, Mars, and Gemini. Maybe a preoccupation with a past experience. You're worried about the future. It's overly fearful. The suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. You'll need to make required changes for a better future. Could be some ruined plan or plans or even health worries. So you should take steps to solve your problems. And you are near the end of your mental ordeal. This is wisdom and strength gained through experience. You might be feeling ill or worried about your health. But worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. Confront your worries and fears and take steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone. Write in a journal. See a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, they will continue to haunt you. This is a high-stress card. Now the sun with the seven of cups. This is someone else paying the bills and taking full advantage of their second childhood. The seven of cups with the five of wands. This is someone spreading rumors. The Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords, that's worrying about family and security. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by... Oops. Wrong one. You've got Loss, Leo. Card number five. Healer Guides. Loss. has to do with sorrow and depression, grief and regret. You may be entering or experiencing a period of loss or regret or disappointment, pain and perhaps even grief. 
These feelings may have arisen from a present painful circumstance, or they may be the result of surfacing of unexpressed or unprocessed loss from the past. Whether caused by something in the past or present, your heart is ready to unburden your pain and your soul is ready to grow from these experiences. Your healer guides are present to assist you in your healing through these difficult times. These soothing helpers assure you that your present pain will transform into learning, and this too shall pass. Your joy will return. Ask your healer guides to help lift your heart and turn your loss and pain over to their loving care. Trust their counsel as they urge you to call a grief counselor, seek a healing massage, or pick up a book that will assist you in your current situation. Their message? Seek sources of help. Thanks you guys, Leo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.